Like, my sum of best definitely has room for improvement. It does not have four minutes worth of improvement in it. likely remain that way because I, I I'm not familiar enough with the game but there's no way that game is getting like 10 minutes faster <laughs> any any crash forerunners in the chat that can confirm or deny it's this easy. All too easy. that's also without loads too like with loads obviously no chance because wall loads but It's actually probably currently still possible for the record in this game to be better than the Crash 2 record. I mean, it would take an extremely good run, but it's not, like, unfeasible. At this point, like, BoomFan is playing again, so it's probably going to come down. And Rab has also been getting really good again, so it might come down, but uh, at the current, at the present moment, it's, like, not impossible. Just highly improbable. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like, it's 117. And, and there's no way it's going to get 10 minutes faster. Unless they find a bazillion skips or something. But, which is always possible in a crash game. But we'll see. One thing I like about this crash game compared to like other crash games as speedruns is there's like the platforming in this game is really fun when you go fast, but also like the the non-platforming breaks the run up really nicely in general. Um, and is sprinkled in just enough to keep the run feeling fresh. Yeah, that sounds about right, Wojo. If you need some of the best for this, is probably some combination of Smartkin and myself. Um, they should probably mostly Smartkin, because he's just better at the game than I am, but... Um, so, Community Sun some of the best in this game is probably... I, I would I would bet it's probably like a high 107. With the, with the standard guy. Or it, it at least could be. Now you also have to play like a, a bazillion levels in that game too, so you can find skips in any of them, like there's just chunks of time, right? I don't know, 
I'd love to see some of the Crash 4 boys migrate over to this. I know a couple of them are looking at learning Crash 2 OG. Because, I mean, why not? That, that game that game rules. But, like, learn this while you're at it. I don't know. It's like when you when you buy your pal copy of Crash 2, just buy a pal copy of this. You know, PS2s are basically completely region free now, so no excuse. Twenty-nine levels and five bosses. Okay, so that's actually close to like a standard crash game, right? So standard crash game would be like twenty-five levels, roughly. Well, at least you know two, three, and twalk are twenty-five levels, and, and five bosses for twenty percent. Yes, the crystal is mine. Keep back, you weak-minded fool! Avert your gaze or you'll go crystal, crystal crazy! crazy. <laughs> yeah, in general, yeah. Okay, I pressed X and nothing happened, so... That was nice. Yeah, in general, all the levels in the game look like they're much longer. It's not like the levels in this game are that quick either, it's just that there's only 12 of them, so... For rule 16, I guess, including the hubs. And you oh, wow, that was close to the nitro. Yeah, have, you have to do levels yeah, multiple times over, it, which, you know, no thank you. It's another nice thing about this game is you can just kind of seamlessly go through it. Yeah, 500 boxes. I think the... Uh, I think the level in the original trilogy with the most boxes is Cold Hard Crash. 155. Some levels, I, I think Gold Rush and Twok has over 200. Like 207 or 209 or something. <laughs> 212, that was close. Cortex Vortex is the best one though, because that level has, I forget how many boxes, like 150, and like 75% of them are nitros. That one, that, that's, which is, you know, a really good name. Yeah, it would definitely have to, because there hasn't been like another standard crash game since then. In the handheld games, none of those levels have nearly that many boxes. Some have like, probably close to 150, but none have 200. It's actually a cool thing, uh, Sloths is working on a full game mod of this game and he's actually modding in box gems you know like gems with force fields that disappear when you grab all the gem uh, gems with force fields that disappear when you grab all the boxes in certain areas which is really cool I'm not sure how the hell he managed to do that but it's pretty sick Yeah, it does look very cool. 
they've got one of the uh, original programmers from the game, actually, who's been helping them out, which is really cool. At least one, maybe even two. Oh, I might play through it. I don't know if I'll run it. Yeah, so like Sloth's posted some a mod of Antagony with basically like these time crates that either sped up or slowed down the colored platforms. And then one a guy showed up in the comments on the video and was like, Yo, I, by the way, I like designed this level and coded like a third of the levels in the game or something. It was very cool. Yeah, two. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, J-Mac. That, that was the one I, I, I knew about. And I knew there was another one, but I just don't know who it is. Yeah. Smart can send me the list of levels the guy designed, and it was all the good levels, so... <laughs> so the guy's, the guy's good. Oh, great. Quiet run time, boys. reset if I can't get the village skip. Okay, that was good enough to keep. I mean, that just comes with uh, a lot of practice. Okay, I was definitely spinning when I hit the ground there, so I'm not sure what that was, but okay. Probably behind here, because I was only minus 11, and that village skip wasn't very good, so let's keep going. Because PBs would be nice up one to compare against. This is a terrible up one. Yeah, I, I, I believe that is true. Like, they were able to explain kind of the structure of the game and stuff, which helps, you know, them, the, those guys understand how to take it apart and do what they want with it. Yeah, I should be like finishing up the uh, this section right now. Uh, yeah, I've had that. I've had the first jump go. I've had the second jump go. I've had the slide go. I've had the uh, spin go. I've had the sound for grabbing extra lives and gems go. Like I think they could all go. What's up with the zero three four five six? How are you doing? I'm still ahead. How about that? Oh, it's going pretty good. Hope you're doing well on this Saturday night. Why pause? I, I saw, sorry, Pharaoh, I saw you ask that question previously, and I didn't answer it. Um, pausing loads the game faster. So pausing on the boat there actually saves around four seconds. As opposed to just sitting there and waiting for Hub 2 to load in. Same thing with the uh, the doors like into and out of the lab, which is where you originally asked it, I think, on that run I was on. Um, I paused there for the same reason. That saves less time, but it's like a couple seconds. And over the course of this run, doing the pausing, especially on PS2, 
saves probably 20 seconds. I just know how long I have to pause for, so my cue is uh, I look at the timer when I pause, and then I stare at the timer when it hits a certain time I unpause. That's about it. I know uh, ZBM. What he used to, what he would have said he would do is he would watch the, the the life counter on the main menu bob back and forth and count the amount of time times it did. But uh, no, I just I'll just look at the clock because I know how long I'm supposed to pause for. Get up there, guys! I'm gonna still find this side though. No, maybe not. Anymore. multiple flubs down there. This game is really fun to run. It's just... It's... I mean, everyone thinks their game is the hardest, so I hate to just say, like, oh, this game is so hard. You know, but it actually is legitimately hard, and it's also extremely punishing to screw up. Like, right now, if I died right now, like, if that bat hit me, um, I would, it would have crashed the game. So, like, there's, there's not a lot of forgiveness with screwing up in this game, so... Please get our bounce here. Thank you. Yeah, the music in this game is great. I 100% agree. Exactly, Nico. Exactly. Yeah, what's with this bat just showing up here? You're just all up in my business. I should have gone for that. Nice, that was really quick. Okay, still green somehow. And crispy. Especially when you do with no slide sound, because you have to pay really close attention to Crash's animation and make sure he doesn't just do a crouch jump. Make sure there's a slide jump. You can't hear the slide. Okay, that wasn't a very quick loop skip. I lost at least five seconds on that. I literally just ran at him and hope I got it. Whoa, I don't know. Yeah, that's good to actual mountain movement there. But uh, I lost like, I probably lost about 15 seconds on this split so far. Maybe a little more. Mm 
Alrighty. Let's see how the first gem goes this time. Another perfect angle. Yeah, this level bugs me all the time, especially because of that first gem, but damn, the music is good. You missed quite a bit. I have no idea when you left, but there's been uh, a bunch of resets, and I'm back on the slide. So. Oh, hey, look! I didn't die there this time. Imagine. That. yellow bazillion times, why not? Coming through! Ladies? Excuse me, madam. Are those real? Mother? cycle there, but I mean, there's nothing you can do about that really. You feel what you get. not as bad as I thought. Eh, I said I lost 15, right? And that's like exactly what I lost, right? 14.5. <laughs> never been so humiliated. What's up, Dresnik and Mount Delk? Treasure How are you guys doing? To treasure, I? Monza. This elevator is on a good cycle for this thing.
Alright, standard high seas. Oh, that run died in Boiler. To something highly epic that wasn't really my fault, so... Have a good night, Rojo. Thanks for hanging out, man. And for those who are wondering, is that just for swag, or does that actually save time? It actually does save time. Not a lot, but it is faster. How much time? Like, probably a total of one second in the fight. We're doing it on all three. It's not very much. Basically, it saves time from because uh, if, if you run around the arena, you need uh, engine needs to turn to face you um, to throw the TNT. But if you're on the spike already, he doesn't need to do that because he's already facing the correct angle. Oh no, long jump! What the hell? jump on that one spot. That was a good walrus chase there. Can't be too upset with that. The rats are leaving the sinking ship. Tell us where the treasure is, and we'll let, let you, you go. Silence! Looks like we'll have to wring it out of him. Rio, get changed. Yo, Munty, thanks for the sub with Prime Gaming and for the pack thing. Hope you're doing well.
It was a different approach than I normally use for that skip. I was facing a weird angle, but the angle I was facing was actually better for the skip. So I was facing more forward, more towards the direction I want to go, which is what gives your long jump a little more distance. If you're facing the direction you jump, you jump further, so... So I actually made that jump a little easier because of the weird angle. This one's like four seconds. Maybe three and a half, but it's, yeah, I, I've tried three. I've tried two, and two definitely doesn't work. I might have tried three, and that might also not work. But... Let my brother go. All right, how many tries on the lottery this time? Last run it was four. My how many this time? Ruined, thanks to Perky here. Must be repaired, and only one. Nico continues can to help. have faith in me. He keeps saying Chinese. one. I respect it, even if it's she delightful? not smart. Obviously, I, I respect made a few it. Modifications <laughs> here and there. <laughs> Quickly to my private dirigible. Set a course for Madame Amberley's Academy of Evil. This way. Worst spot. What do you mean by worst? Most annoying to fight. Worst designed. Oh, baby. What have we got? How is it not a best segment? That was like a point one off. Okay, because that was really good. So, okay, so that makes me confident that my best segment there is good because. That was... I missed a long jump in the walrus chase. That was basically my mistake on that segment, so... I'm not doing the strat here, so I'm just gonna fight the ads. Like a normal human. Ooh, that should have hit the nitros. Oh, come on. Oh, this is very bad. Okay. I mean, depending on how the hub 3 goes, I may go for that, but... We'll see. I gotta get there first. This courtyard has been a little ugly, so... That courtyard wasn't very good. Ah yes, the old alma mater. Probably As lost. A student myself, I'm well acquainted with the many ten. This institution. Probably close to ten, more than five. Somewhere in there. That's okay. Yeah, you're just hitting a bunch of things from out of bounds. So you hit two nitro det or a nitro detonator and two exclamation point boxes from out of bounds. And the two exclamation point boxes are on top of stacks of nitros, which is why you have to do weird things to hit them without hitting the nitros. In the detonator, you can just spin through the wall because, of course, you can. I 
Because I was fast enough to make the uh, fast cycle on the rear there, I thought my jump setup was a little too slow. Guess not. Well, I mean, there's not much I can do about that, other than like going as slowly as possible there, which is not what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do my strat. You see, that's what's supposed to happen. Man. that jump in a hot minute. Save a few seconds. time because was it my animation? Uh, that was the game automatically attaching him to me. Which I totally almost just did a slide jump right off that. Right. Dead even out of boiler. Interesting. Should load in right about now. CTR Galaxian, and thanks for the good luck, Nunti. How are you?
That was a slow setup and a bad jump. Still made it though. Oh, nice! I have not made that jump in like a month. <laughs> Even in practice. Trust those block placements, and I still got hit. So maybe I should just only side jump anyways. Thanks, Crunch Dogs. They told me to reapply in three to four weeks, and that was three weeks ago yesterday. Wow, I can't believe I got past the guy without being able to see what the hell I was doing. Yeah, that was actually a reasonably good classroom. Like, some slop in there, but I got the detonator jump, so. Just by a few seconds, you know, like three. That was probably only, that was basically because of the detonator jump, because the, the out of bounds of movement in the second half wasn't very good. I got stuck in a lot of crap, but I got the detonator jump, which helps a lot, so that saves a few seconds. Yeah, that's always been one of my weaker golds. Just, like, you don't get a lot of runs there, so that doesn't help, but then also, like, I just never had crazy good movement there. So. I think my PB got a gold there, but then I beat that gold in a different run. That was not a PB. So I'm pretty sure my PB got a double gold on Boiler and Classroom, but I know I beat the Classroom gold after that at least once. So that's probably what happened. Yeah, I pressed square, so I don't know what happened. There. And now I have no mask, and this is a really bad spot to have no mask. Grab that one. Probably a dumb move, but there's a lot of crap right here. Yeah, I didn't I didn't get the double jump, but I also lived. So can't complain too much. Oh 
Okay, I got that. That's good. I'm not going for that skip, I'm not an idiot. Let's actually grab this gem. I've been struggling to actually physically touch this gem. I could be a little careful here because I have no mass, so I could die. Ooh, that spin ended very late. Okay. Not a very good rooftop, but I didn't die, which is the key to Now the fun strats, waiting on this uh, platform an extra cycle, which is actually faster, because this game is stupid. You are in detention! Madam Amberly. So, Crybaby Goltex is all grown up. I see you found employment as a barber. I'm, I'm an, an evil, evil scientist. scientist! A scientist, are we? To me, you'll always be a little bird. Maybe, Rico, this run has been very bizarre. Plus, there's still a lot of nonsense to happen, so... Don't get too attached just yet, everybody. You know, I still can miss the first gym on the rock side like four times, so...
I mean, she normally doesn't T-pose, it's just because I'm super cheesy in the fight that she does. Like, she's normally much more animated. It just looks really funny. That wasn't very good, but whatever. Yeah, if you stand between two of the platforms, she and just literally don't do anything, she uh, she doesn't like that. <laughs> Yo, Rico, thanks for the sub, man. Appreciate it very much. We explore a new dimension! It should have been two new dimensions, but we ran out of time. Mm. Oh, good spawn. It's just one of the many things that make this game great. It's self-awareness. My daughter, uh, niece! We must do something. Think, Cortex, think! That wasn't fast, but I lived. That movement was very suspect. <laughs> Ooh, I thought I didn't jump high enough to clear that, but it was just high enough. This 
way. ZBM Please Oh, keep, dude, I'm not gonna lose a bazillion years on this thing right? I mean, I This is hub 4 There's only 4 hubs Good tree climb at least, even though I missed that body sign at least three times. I lost count. There they are. Let her go. Take me instead. Perfect cycle though. That was sick. I mean, it doesn't make up for the multiple missed body slams, but it helps a little bit. There's no ants over here? Wow, that's uncommon. Normally there's a, a few uh, past the arches there. I got that one on the first go. Victor and Moritz is strong. How is that almost the best segment? I missed the body slam on the one gem three times. 
Oh, that is epic. So it's really close. Oh, what am I doing? That was so stupid. Dying in an auto stroller room is a bra moment right there. I think I thought I was on the platform, which is why I jumped again, but I definitely wasn't. Now I have no mask, so I have to do this room the old way. Oh, now I can do it the actual way. the jump I was the most scared of in this level because if you die there it's like a minute lost or something.
Oh, I thought I got ball grip for a second and froze. Which would have been a good thing, by the way, for anyone who's in the way. Here we go. Yeah, no, there's no hitbox on the roof there. You can go anywhere on the roof. <laughs> that was like five seconds lost just on Nina. That was very bad. I missed three grapples, three, four grapples. That was bad. That's okay. And the fast kill? Let's go. What a way to close out a 110. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go, everybody. Mm. It's the second minute barrier I've broken in this game. Mm. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. 841 antagony with two deaths. Oh, Incredible. <laughs> well, this is one heck of an ending. Let's go, dude. Yo, thanks Murasaki and pause. Thank you both. That is so sweet. Years I've been wrong about you. Your creation was a mistake, and your existence has been a constant reminder of that mistake. But I've learned something from all of this. I'm I've so pumped about that. You can't run away from your mistakes, but you can bury them. 
I never want to see your ridiculous face again. Go boys, one ten. I'm I'm really pumped about that. What uh, what a run! A very bizarre run. The first half of that run, I really do not know what to make of that. <laughs> so I died in cavern, and then I got village skip like eighth try, and then. I what did I do on slip slide? Oh I no no that was I, that was a different one I died there. I don't even remember what I did on that. Oh I didn't get the body slam out of bounds on Cortex's head, that's what that was. Then high seas was good, the end of hub two was good. Boiler that was just that was just slop in the courtyard and in boiler. Classroom very good. Rooftop solid. Uh, well actually rooftop wasn't very good, but I didn't die, that's why I saved a bunch of time there. And then the end of Hub 3 was good. Uh, rock Slide, yeah, that's fine. And then Bandicoot Pursuit, I missed the one Force Field Gem three times, at least, with Body Slams, and I still saved time, so there's plenty of time there. And then I died twice in Antagony. Although they were reasonably quick deaths. All that, yeah. Also, in very dumb rooms, though. Like, I died in the Auto Scroller room, and then, well, hitting the laser. That actually probably was faster than doing the room the old way. Is hitting the laser there on accident and then doing the intended strat or doing the new strat. So, and that was probably a 41 because that's 41.9. So I would I would bet that that's probably like a low 40, 110 41. So, yeah, yeah, bad hub one. Um, I had a run earlier. I've only done like eight attempts today, and the other run I had a 1320 like a 1329 hub one. So that was nice. Um, you know, we take those. <laughs> uh, with the strats I'm using, that's at least closer to what I should be getting. It's right around 1330 or under 1330. So, a bunch of time in Hub 1. There's a bunch of time in Hub 2. There's a little bit of time in Hub 3 and a little bit in Hub 4. So, and I'm pumped about that. That was that was solid. I'm happy I, I closed that run out in reasonably good fashion because, you know, my previous PB had an awful late game, so I'm, I'm happy that this late game was at least, like, passable might be a strong word, but I'll go with passable because, you know, it could have been far worse. Like, I got a bunch of the time save I had, but there's still more time to save there, too, so. <sighs> that was sweet. And thanks again for the GG's everyone. I saw a lot of people kind of pop in at the end here. I didn't catch everybody, but thank you all for... If you were here the whole time, whole stream, thanks for sticking around. If you just popped in at the end of the run, thanks for stopping by. Um, I appreciate everybody coming to watch the Twins' hotness. Um, this is one of the best days of play I've had in a while. I had another run to Boiler on this stream. And then, like shortly after that got this run so and when i played yesterday i got a bunch of runs to hub two so i am i've been getting more runs into the game lately which is really really nice and that makes it possible to get runs like this which are you know still a fair way fair ways off from like the goal time but you gotta you know make leaps to get there at some point so you know making a move there with you know, cutting that gap in half, basically. <laughs> Which is really nice. Um, yeah, I mean, solid run. Happy to get another PB. Still 
you know, still 42 seconds to go. Um, and, you know, we'll, uh, the 109 grind will continue in the coming days. We're not, we are not done yet. As the credits are going to say, Crash Bandicoot will return. And he will return right after I check this actually was 100%. Hoorah! We've done it, everybody. Yeehaw.